it's Ferdinand Dandy here and what I have today morning it's uh, 5 o'clock in the morning is my uh, DR100 watt project uh, the first integration of the control module and the equalizer module in the first video that I have presented earlier it's in here I am actually uh, testing this uh, DR100 watt EQ module or the equalizer module functionally by means of music as the input source uh, and uh, I'm accessing this module manually without microcontroller access uh, and control so this time with this setup uh, I have integrated the controller or the DR100 watt CM to control the equalizer module and access by means of software and um, my input this time is um, a sine wave and a square wave from the uh, signal generator and uh, I'm monitoring the output via the oscilloscope so this test uh, I call it a parametric test let's see the setup in my bands uh, let's start with the input signal which is the AF generator it is set at uh, 1 kilohertz frequency the amplitude is about uh, 800 millivolt, and the type of signal can be a uh, square wave or uh, sine wave. And the output is um, fed in into the input of the uh, equalizer module. So uh, um, we have left and right here, and uh, the type of signal here is a uh, mono, and I need an stereo, so I split the mono signal by uh, the resistors to, to make it a uh, stereo that would be an, an identical signal and the output here is uh, stereo also the left and right but um, I'm only monitoring the left channel this time and oh what is this it says I love you oh that's a little inspiration from my wife uh, um, that uh, I'm going to wake up early in the morning to do the testing so she put this one wow. thank you it's a little inspiration yes the output is um, monitored uh, in the um, oscilloscope so basically um, we have here the uh, input signal the yellow one and the output signal is the blue one so uh, let's see I almost forgot the source of power, which is um, a DC uh, voltage. I set it to uh, 15 volts, uh, and um, with the uh, status of the equalizer module and the control module, which is in the active, it draws uh, about uh, 98 milliampere. So this is a DC signal, and uh, it fed in into the. Uh, uh, DC power source input of the equalizer module and uh, this um, 15 volt signal is also shared by the um, control module to access now the uh, tone control by uh, the uh, control module I need some uh, man machine switches so I have here the uh, uh, switches I basically uh, borrow one of the front panel of my project here so I can make use of these uh, switches uh, and it is labeled here as um, power and off uh, the, this is the uh, menu the select uh, the up uh, and down so uh, this uh, label here is the programming label and uh, when you go into the um, uh, operations mode or the active mode or the the um, active um, power amplifier mode then uh, we have here the uh, keys designation like the uh, EQ select we have the volume up and volume down and we have the turbo bus and the 3D sounds right oh by the way um, this is the um, uh, DR100 watt PA this is the uh, class D amplifier module which uh, sooner or later uh, this module will be uh, integrated into the 
control module or the control module we're going to control this uh, class D amplifier the DR 100 watt PA module right let's go with the parametric test and uh, let's see about the so signal. currently the output uh, amplitude is about uh, 1 volt RMS and I'm going to depress the uh, volume down to lower the volume so basically I'm lowering the volume by 1 dB step there you are again the volume control is uh, set in a uh, dB so the, the maximum volume is 0 dB and the minimum volume is minus 80 so as soon as the number is going down that is basically negative and um, it decreases the volume so it is mute now and you can see that uh, there is no output signal perfectly the volume function is working so I'm going to increase the volume now and there you are that's the maximum volume let's see the tone control function of the DGTC solution the bus and travel let's uh, change the uh, input signal to uh, square wave currently it's in the sine wave alright so the input now is a square wave and the output is also a square wave so this is the um, um, acceptable way how to test the uh, tone control uh, parametrically oh, by the way um, the tone control function the bus and travel is not included in the experiment in the book that I have prepared I actually um, uh, ask you guys to uh, um, do the uh, bus and travel as your homework so this time I'm going to show you how it uh, is accessed by the uh, control module via the I2C protocol okay so in the programming uh, I set it already to travel and it is in the 0 dB so I need to increase that I want to increase it to um, 2 dB that's how I define the uh, program to increase the key travel by means of 2 dB so let's go back to the flat response so that is the flat response so if I increase the travel by 2 dB that's how is the signal so uh, you can actually compare the input signal versus the output signal and um, you can see that um, the uh, part of the high frequency which is here this part of the high frequency it is boosted so that's the reference and then it will go up like that so if I increase that with another 2 dB that is now a 4 dB 6 dB so you can see that the um, high frequency component of the signal is being boosted so we are now on the um, 6 dB uh, boost of the travel signal so let's increase that there. and there you are that is now 10 dB and the maximum is uh, 14 dB so our project uh, maximum uh, travel boost is uh, 14 dB and that's it that's how the signal goes back to the flat response and it says here travel it's 0 dB or flat response well uh, there is no uh, travel cut here I uh, did not uh, the use the travel cut since um, I don't think that uh, uh, we need the travel cut here no one like to cut the travel uh, or no one like to hear the high frequency signals of the audio component Let's see the bus. I need to go to the programming mode. And there you are. You got the um, programming for setting the um, bus response. So currently, the bus is in the flat response. As we can see on the output from the oscilloscope. 
and if I'm going to increase it uh, this is how it looks like uh. okay there is a 2 dB increase on the bus or that is 2 dB boost on the bus uh. that is 4 dB so um, you can see here that um, the um, low frequency component of the output signal is uh, increased by currently now is uh, 4 dB and as you can see this is the input signal and then the output signal so you can see that the bus is basically uh, responding according to the command of the microcontroller to the DGTC solution so let's increase the uh, bus to maximum right that is the uh, maximum uh, boost with uh, 40 dB let's set it back to 0 dB or the flood response and there you are it goes back to the flood response this test I'm hungry now and um, get here the mocha and um, my favorite uh, thing to do in the morning is a coffee.